Hey there. I hope you've all had a lovely week. Now in honour of National Peanut Butter Day, hooray, uh, I'm going to show you how to make your very own peanut butter. It's so easy. I'm going to show you how to make just a really small batch. I've got one cup, that's well, about 135 grams of peanuts. Okay, so these are just lightly salted, already roasted peanuts. Mm. I'm going to have one, lovely. Now I'm going to put them into a little blender, okay? Now you do need to have some kind of food processor to make this happen. Otherwise you're going to be there for like forever with some kind of nut grinder, not good. Now the only, there's only three ingredients to this, so peanuts, obviously, and then I have a little bit of peanut oil, about a tablespoon and a half, and some sugar, okay? So, or you could use honey if you wanted to. I've got, it's only about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half of sugar. I'm just going to pour everything in here, whiz it up, and then my peanut butter will be ready. Yes. Oil, sugar. You basically just keep grinding until you get a nice smooth paste. Oh, oh, and there you go. As you can see, peanut butter is forming. I'm gonna keep going just to make it a bit smoother. But again, if you like crunchy peanut butter, leave it like this entirely up to your own preference. So there we go, homemade peanut butter literally takes two minutes to make your very own. Um, now do give it a bit of a taste, let's have a look. Give, give it a taste just to make sure it's sweet enough for you, it's salty enough for you. Because I've been making mine for a while, mine's spot on because I know how I like it. Not too sweet, but still, you know, has to be a little bit sweet. Now. There we go, spread it on toast, do whatever you like with it. Um, this can actually be kept now in the fridge for uh, you know, a good month, just get a nice jar with the lid on it, keep it airtight. And if you are gonna make a batch, then this only makes a little bit, this probably makes about maybe three quarters of a cup's worth. So you can just double up on the quantities and then you've got a whole batch done for the next month and a half or so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that, mm, my mouth's like stuck. That's breakfast done. <laughs> In two minutes. Mm. Mm. Excuse me, it really stuck my mouth together. Mm. I hope you all really, really enjoy making your very own peanut butter. It's good for you. You know exactly what's going in it. And um, it's really tasty. So you may not ever want to buy peanut butter again. Um, do leave me your comments and uh, let me know what you like to have peanut butter with as well because it's such a good ingredient. Uh, maybe we can create some other recipes. If you haven't hit subscribe, hit subscribe because I do new recipes for you every single week. So join me again next Wednesday when I do not know what I'm cooking yet. Ooh, something for Chinese New Year. Yes. Bye.